Hey everyone, this is Jeff from jeffclements.com. Just wanted to make a video today on how you can do a hard reset on your Samsung Galaxy S4. Now there's two different methods on how you can do this. Um, each one is, is very effective, you know, it's going to delete out all your content. So again, make sure that if you're getting ready to do a hard reset, you're ready to lose everything on the phone because everything's going to get deleted. It's going to be like it just came out of the box. So make sure anything important is backed up and, you know, save somewhere else because you really, you know, after you've done this, you're going to lose everything on the phone. So again, just you, you've been forewarned. So, yep, so a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, if you have access to the phone's menus, uh, it's actually pretty simple. You just go into apps, so you go into your main apps. Then you go into settings. And then a few different menus will pop up on the top here. You're going to want to go to accounts. And then right at the bottom there, you're going to see backup and reset. So you click on that. And now I'm not going to do it on this one, but it would be on the bottom. You'll see factory data reset. It'll be lit up. And then you just click on that. It'll ask you to confirm to make sure you want to delete everything off of there. And then you just click delete. And everything will get wiped. It'll be like it just came out of the box. So that's the first way to do it if you have access to the phone. The second way is going to be a button combination. Now for the button combination, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the battery out. So I'm going to do that right now here. So you take the battery out, give it just say, I don't know, probably three, you know, maybe five seconds, something like that. All right, so once it's had, you know, about five seconds, you place the battery back in, and then you put the back plate back on. Cool. And then what you're gonna do is, is you're going to hold the volume up button and the home button, this uh, big guy down on top, that physical key, you're gonna hold those, and then you're gonna press and hold the power button until you feel the vibrate. Then I've just felt it vibrate, so I let it go. And now I'm going to hold the up, volume up button, and the home button until I get to this little Android guy. Perfect, and you can let him go. So once you've done that, you're gonna get this setup of options. Now the font was ridiculously tiny, so I'm having to get as close as I can here. Um, but you'll see a bunch of different options. Top is Reboot System Now, so you can go to that if you just want to restart the uh, the phone. Otherwise, there's a couple of different options, and you, you want to go down to Wipe Data Factory Reset. And the way you'll get there is by toggling down with the volume up and down button. Once you've gotten there with the volume up and down, you're going to want to click the power button. Then it's going to ask you to scroll down to yes, delete all user data. Once you get there using the volume up and down button, just click the power button again. But again, this is going to delete everything off of there. So do just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, again, this font was ridiculously tiny. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. And then you hit the power button. It's going to fully delete everything off of there. Now, the main reason you would use this uh, second method is, say, if you don't have access to the phone, uh, such as, you know, you got locked out, something like that, and you just need to get back in your phone. Um, again, this isn't a way of recovering data, though, because you're going to lose everything on the phone. But if you're locked out and you desperately need back into your phone and you're willing to drop all the data or you've got it backed up, which you should do anyway, um, as long as you got everything backed up, you'll be set. If you guys have any questions on this, you can find me on my website, which is www.jeffclements.com.